guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to steal the money and give it to Joyce. So only about 3-4% to of players actually chose this option and not many people knew it existed. So there's a few things that you need to do before you can do that. And the first thing is you can either speak to the vendor. So you have to speak to him and then you have to try and take the shirt. Hey, I told you 20 bucks. You looking to get beat? That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. So you can run around and do a few other things before you grab the shirt. Um, and I will point out that in this part, there is an optional um, graffiti. So you just go to the blade and you can choose what you want to graffiti and it should give you a trophy. And it is the second trophy of the first episode. Sit and spit. So after you've done that or you've had a good look around and you make sure that you speak to the vendor and you try to take the shirt, you can either go straight to the parking brake or you can read the sign. Um, yeah. no shit. This car could slide down any minute. Reading the sign just kind of tells you what to do in case you're unsure, but you can definitely just go straight to the parking brake. Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. And then the car will fall down. Thanks for playing, Dick. So now you'll be able to grab your t-shirt, which you will be able to wear that outfit um, later on in the episode as well as all the bonus outfits if you pre-ordered and a few That's other extra like outfits. 200 bucks. So now you're gonna make sure you steal the money and obviously the action will have consequences. Holy like every shit. choice in the game. I'm rich. So now you can just walk around and do a few other things. Another option of what you can do with the money is you can buy pot from Frank. Um, yes, so that's another option and that's the option that quite a few people went with. Or if you don't want to go with this option, you can just leave the cash. So now what you want to do once you've seen the intro is you want to have a good look around Chloe's room. So there's quite a few things that you can do, um, quite a few fun things as well. You can see some memories from Max. One of the main things here is to look at this unicorn poster and it will give you the option to tear it down. Uh, when it gives me the option to tear it down, that'd be great. Yeah. I still smell like last night. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking unicorns. And it will obviously give you the option to graffiti. So there's always two choices when you can graffiti. So, just choose any one that you really like. And it will give you another trophy. So, this is the um, third trophy of the game and the third graffiti spot in the game as well. So, it's important that you don't miss that. Now, you have to go over to the drawer and you have to get dressed. And if you do happen to want to change your outfit, you can always go back to the dresser. But we'll stick with classic Chloe for now. Ugh, I really should get going. So then we're gonna head out. And Shit. Where's my phone? She's lost her phone. It's not you. How drunk was I last night? No, Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. 
so we're gonna go into Joyce's room and we're gonna get her phone. Mine's phone is probably in a room. I can use it to call mine and figure out how I want it. So this is an important room. So again, when you go into the rooms, it's important to interact with almost everything. Um, there's quite a few things in here that are key things to the game and open up some extra options. So make sure that you do look at the ring. And you also got to make sure that you make you find this from Arcadia Porn. And it will also, obviously, the speech bubble will unlock some extra conversation with Joyce when we go downstairs later. So it is important that you look at that as well if you want that extra option. And another option here is to open the drawer and you will find a picture. She hides all her old pictures of Dad. And you can either choose to put it on the dresser or just leave it where it is. So before we pick up the purse, you can look at the purse, but we do want to pick up Joyce's phone and call Chloe's phone. And we want to try and find our phone as well. So, like my phone is definitely nearby. now we're going to go get Chloe's phone and it is in the bathroom. She did have a pretty hectic night, so it's behind the toilet. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. So, Joyce has asked us to go and get her purse. purse in her room. So, we're going to go get that. And you really can't go downstairs without bringing the purse. So, it's important that you go and grab that. So before you go downstairs, make sure you've had a good look around upstairs because you won't be able to come back at any point in the game. So now we've got to go put Joyce's purse on the table. And we leave it there. And obviously, Chloe's being a little bit sassy. So now we've got to go to the kitchen and we've got to have a conversation with Joyce. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. So I picked up the engagement ring before and now I've got the option of bringing it up. If you don't pick up the ring, then you won't have this option and you also won't be able to place the money in Joyce's purse. So it's very important that you do pick up the ring. So now after that long conversation with Joyce, we have to go get David's keys from the ashtray. But before we do that, you have to go over to Joyce's purse and you have to look it up. I almost wish I could slip mom cash. If I had any cash to slip. And if you don't take the cash, that's the thing Chloe will say. But if you do, you will be able to press X and you will be able to put money in the purse. I am in collector's mode, so I can't show you exactly what the choice is, but those are the steps that you need to do to slip Joyce in cash. And you also have to be nice to Joyce in order to slip her cash as well. 